U.S. President Barack Obama spoke for the second time since the massacre. He blasted Congress for failing to pass any gun control laws during his time in office. And he said he cannot accept that mass shootings are now commonplace in the United States. You don't see murder on this kind of scale with this kind of frequency in any other advanced nation on Earth. Every country has violent, hateful, or mentally unstable people. What's different is not every country is awash with easily accessible guns. And so I refuse to act as if this is the new normal. And echoing the words of the president, many people around the world are also wondering why this keeps happening in the U.S. CNN's Paulo Newton has more on the global reaction to another American shooting attack. The image of a young man, America's latest mass murderer, broadcast around the world. A reporter for French broadcaster BFM explaining to his audience how 21-year-old Dylan Storm Roof could face the death penalty after he confessed to killing nine black worshippers on Wednesday. Newspaper headlines all highlighting the shocking facts. A black church a white gunman. The Figaro in France describing it as the racist killing that is shocking America. From Turkish daily Zaman, even stronger wording. The headline reads, racist terrorism horror in the USA. From afar, the world has watched America struggle and rising tensions between its black and white communities. From Miami and Ferguson to Baltimore and now this. In the multicultural streets of London, these ever-increasing scenes are difficult to comprehend. So, too, the gun debate. I thought, not again. Um, and I don't know how many times this kind of thing can happen before people start doing things about guns in America. Um, Obama was right. It doesn't happen with this frequency anywhere else. Well, my reaction again? is that every day, yeah, a young black guy, whatever, is being killed off by, uh, well, white supremacist people that don't want to learn to change. America on a whole needs to sort out their gun laws. As if to sum it up, British newsreader Kay Burley tweeted, only in America, responding to a gun ad being posted on the front page of Charleston Daily, The Post and Courier. This was even as the manhunt for the gunman continued. Paul Newton, CNN, London. And you can learn more about this story at CNN.com. Our website has details on the attack, the gunmen and the victims. We also have expert analysis of the legal and social aspects of the story. For all that and much more, go to CNN.com.